Hey guys, before I begin, just want to say I'll be streaming every Tuesday and Thursday at 7pm GMT. So do join me to chat and have fun. And I'll be more than happy to talk about almost anything. Um, doesn't really have to be games related. And yeah, most importantly, do remember to like and subscribe if you like my contents. Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to showcase my league starter for the new upcoming league that's going to happen like in 6 hours time. And it's going to be Skeleton Mages. Okay, so first of all, I apologize for those that is actually waiting for this build on my Discord. I know many of you has been asking me. And okay, so next, usually I don't follow the meta builds. But because this is more or less the only minion build that I have never tried before. And I honestly think that it is way too strong and way too good, okay. Uh, and I'm also pretty sure it's going to get nerfed next league. So yeah, I guess this is like the only time to try if I really want to see the full pen full potential of how it actually works. Okay, so I know that there are many builds out there for the Skeleton Mages. Like, uh, you know, Gezi TV has his own build, uh, Von Victon has his own, and some others. And I would say most of them are actually similar one way or another. It's just a matter of personal preference. Um, whether you want a more tanky skeleton mage build or higher damage skeleton, um, yeah, scaly mage build. So it's really up to personal preference. Uh, these are just baseline references that you can take from and then, you know, just play around and tweak around to whatever that uh, you like. Okay, and here is my opinion. So I am more or less referencing towards uh, Gezi TV build because it's very similar to my old Karen Golem builds and I think this is just the way it should go okay just going for the damage build because once you get the blast rebirth modifier for the from the cluster uh, medium cluster jewel your skeletons right literally become a punching bag in front of you like they are the one that's going to be soaking up all the damage in front of you unless there are attacks that like pierce or AoE spells that hits behind Otherwise, it's very hard for you to die, okay? And the nice thing about it is, if your skeleton mage die, just summon them again. That's the awesome part about it. Okay, and so in this video, I'm not going to go through everything, uh, not the entire POB. You can always just look up at it for yourself. I'm just going to emphasize what are the important things you should take note of and understand. Okay, so this is how the POB looks like. Um, first of all, uh, we are going for a Necromancer, of course, and I've, I'm actually debating on whether this, uh, Mistress of Sacrifice is better than Bone Barrier, and I've concluded that actually, uh, Mistress of Sacrifice is more or less much better for this build, because it gives you, it gives your Spectres or your support minions more survivability, as well as yourself, right, okay, so, the things that I want to emphasize is there are many different types of skill trees. So this is like the leveling guide from Act 1 all the way until Act 10. And then you have one uh, that has no cluster jewel. Okay, this is just no cluster jewel. Sometimes you just, uh, far, you just level way too fast and farm too slow or something like that. Uh, some other casual players, right? Okay, so the next one is with the medium cluster jewel. So this is just with the medium cluster jewel, okay? Take note, right? Uh, as you can see, only on top here, there is uh, just one medium cluster jewel. And the last one will be with the large and medium cluster jewel, okay? So this is with the large and medium cluster jewel. This is like your damage based on mapping. And then if I were to change the configuration, um me okay maybe i'll just take shaper guardian uh you can see that the damage is about 3.5 m or so okay so not the best and this is actually 3.5 is actually not the full dps it's way much more higher than that because i only uh input 11 summon skeletons when you're fighting bosses you're gonna summon vow summon skeletons okay and it's gonna be a lot more all right so this is how it goes for the skill tree Okay, next up will be the skill gems. The skill gems, uh, main skills are all listed here. Uh, the only thing you need to take note is over here, there's actually seven skill gems. So if you're a lazy person like me, just use volley and pierce because you don't have to change gems. Like even when you're bossing, just 
you know, go in and summon your skeletons and wait there. Otherwise, if you really want more damage, you can just use Hypothermia and remove Volley for bossing. And then when you are not bossing, you swap Volley with Pierce. Okay, sorry. So, yes, correct. So when you are mapping, you use Volley and when you are bossing, you use Pierce. Right? That's, uh, the damage difference is quite significant. Okay, other than that, um, yeah, the rest is pretty much the usual stuff. There is no quality of this. Um, if you manage to get some quality, you can just add it in yourself. And this is the leveling uh, skill gems you should use. Okay, I never changed the level, so this is not the actual one. Um, I'm just listing down the skills that you should have, like, probably after Act 5 or 6. Right, this is the thing you should see at. And yes, this is the leveling uh, skill gems that you should have even after Act 10. Okay, next up is the items. So for the items, right? Um, oops, sorry. Um, for the items, you're just going to go with the simple wand. You can just use any wand, okay? Use any wand that has plus one to level of all spell skill gems. This is important, okay? So for the trigger, socket spell when you use a skill, um, this is hard to get so you can only get it afterwards so do not be bothered with it once you get the bench craft for this um just find some yeah find a way to to get another one if you don't have a suffix um with the plus one to level of all spell skill gems okay so this is important why is this important because in this case right our support uh, our race spectra is actually level 25 so this gives this give us um, four race spectras in total and if you don't have this one you can only have three race spectra so on top of that this all spell skill gems right actually increase a lot of all our spells like including the auras and the uh, bone offering and stuff like that everything almost everything inside is uh, affected by it okay and the rest um, for the shield is just resistance and life for your helmet, you will need this, okay? You will need at least a plus two to level of socketed minion gems. Good to have the life inside if you can craft. Otherwise, if you have both, just craft a uh, minion have increased life. And for your body armor, just use a corrupted one that has life. Uh, for your gloves, just life and resistance if you have a empty prefix craft minion damage. For your boots, this is kind of mandatory because of the uh, plus one to num maximum number of skeletons. So Alvaron's Warpath is needed. For your amulet, use the Citrine amulet because it gives you strength and dexterity and just uh, annoy Alacrity, okay? Alacrity is very cheap. Please don't tell me you don't have money for it. Um, I think if I remember correctly, it was three, it's three clear, right? Yeah, this is like the lowest tier of oil, okay? And okay, sorry. Uh, and for your rings, it's just life and resistance. If you have cover enough, please benchcraft strength in that so that it meets the requirements of your jewels. All right. And belt, you're gonna go with darkness and throne. Uh, ghastly jewel, eye jewel with the maximum life and minions deal. Uh, additional damage if you have used a minion skill recently. This is just way too good because you are constantly going to use a minion skill. All right. For the Flask, um, Quicksilver, I use the Reduced Effect of Curses on you doing Flask Effect uh, together with Soul of Yugu so that I am immune to Curse. And technically, we are also immune to Reflect Damage. So if you would ask me, I think this this um, this build can literally do every single mod on the map, okay? You don't really have to bother about um, mods that uh, don't allow you to regenerate life and mana because you can just take in a life flask and a mana flask and you can do perfectly well as well and jade flask for the evasion um you can drop this for something else for the uh phasing flask uh it's fine as well this is quite optional so the next one will be basalt flask that uh gives you more armor and taunts nearby enemy with the increased armor effect uh Rumi's concoction and eternal life flask okay so for my eternal life flask I think the important key thing about this is the immunity to bleeding and immunity to corrupt the blood. This is important, right? And the rest is really highly based on what you are progressing over the skill tree 
in here. So with cluster, with medium cluster, and with both large and medium cluster, it highly affects here. So the last important thing is definitely date reckoning to um, so that you can summon up to 15 skeleton mages, okay? And yes, that's it for the items. Okay, and last but not least, please take note of the notes over here. Um, please read them because I don't want people to come back asking me like what I should do for my anime guardians. Is there a proper leveling guy? What spectrus I should run and stuff like that. It's all over here, okay? There's a low budget one. Um, if I remember correctly, Gazi TV did mention as well. It is the same, okay? It's exactly the same. There is no changes to it. Even for my Karen Golem, I'm still using the same thing, right? So this is for low budget. Uh, when you have more currency, you can upgrade to the medium budget. And then the high budget, um, I will let you guys know again, right? This is going to be in the high budget version of the Skeletal Mages. For your Spectrus, because we do not have information on the new uh, monsters now, I'm just going to take it as, please just run two Host Shifter and two Carnage Shifter. If you only have three uh, Spectrus for now, please run two Carnage and one Host. I think that is the most ideal situation because Carnage gives more damage, I think. Right? Okay. And then next is the leveling guide. So this is through Act 1 all the way until Act 4 because this is literally where they give all the gems, okay? So please take note, like after Quest 1, Enemy at the Gate, uh, you take Freezing Pulse, link with Arcane Search. Take note that this small little arrow is going to show you what you should link with, right? So the rest, you can just read it on your own, okay? It's literally here, very straightforward, easy to understand. Okay, so please do take note of the notes. Okay, so this is the uh, list of important things to take note. Um, I'm not going to read it. You can just read it yourself. Uh, pause the video or whatsoever and read it. Yeah, this is basically whatever that I emphasized previously. Just a full list of it. Okay, next is one of the most important thing. The order of items to buy. Okay, so first of all, no brainer, this is your date reckoning jewel, your unique jewel that enables the skeleton mages. Next is your plus one to all spell skill gems board. Okay, it doesn't have to be convoking one, so it can be anything. And the bench card to trigger socket spell can be done later, right? So, third will be your darkness entrum plus your two abyssal jewels that you're going to socket to it. Fourth will be all your other rare items with life and resistance. So I always emphasize this a lot. No matter what it is, please cap your resistance and try to find life in all items, okay? If it's expensive, if you are unable to find, just find them with resistance and benchcraft the life onto your items, right? And fifth will be your Vow Summon Skeletons skill gem. Just get one that is level 20 if you can. Otherwise, just get one and level it up yourself. And best is with 20% quality. So at least start scenario, I know 20% quality is hard. You can just get one at uh one Vow Summer Skeleton Skill Gem at level 1. Okay. And the 6 will be Yumi's Concussion just for additional defenses. 7 will be your low budget anime guardian equipment. Okay. This is extremely, extremely low budget. Don't tell me you cannot afford this because it's probably gonna be much cheaper than Rumi's Concussion, like all of the equipments, I am pretty sure. Okay, unless, I don't know, some some horrible thing happened in the market. Okay, and 8 will be your Minion Life Medium Cluster Jewel. So the ideal passive is 4, but if it's too expensive, you can just get 5. And you can just get any non-corrupted uh, Medium Cluster Jewel. Um, use the alteration op on it yourself until you get Bless Rebirth Modifier, okay? And once you have it, uh, you are good to equip it also already. And having additional renewal modifier is the best. So if you were to see my skill tree, um, hold on a minute. So this is the medium cluster. Okay, I'll just show you. This is the medium cluster jewel. This is the most ideal medium cluster jewel you can have, okay? Um, all the additional passive, other additional passive modifiers on there is a bonus. But Blessed Rebirth is a must. Renewal is also a bonus. Okay. Okay. And number 9 will be Fortress Covenant. Co Fortress Covenant is a unique jewel. Um, it might be a little bit expensive at the start. According to what I foresee. Because so many people is going to play 
this build and Fortress Covenant not only applies to Skeleton, it literally applies to all minion builds and minion builds are not affected at all this league so it's just going to be another popular minion meta again <laughs> so yeah it might be a little bit pricey and number 10 is your minion damage large cluster jewel okay oh i didn't put the ideal passive so the ideal passive uh, skill points for this is eight but if you cannot afford uh just go for nine um in my skill tree i am also using the nine cluster yes i'm also using nine Okay, so 8 is okay, um, 9 I think is a bit too much, uh, as in 8 is too much, uh, 9 I think is okay. If you need to get 10, you can please get 10 or so, let me just do a quick one, I will show you. Let's say if you have 10, right, you don't take this too, right? So you don't take this anymore, you literally from here, you're just going to take like this, alright? So it works fine as well. Okay, uh, let me just revert back first. Okay, and then next up will be the modifiers on it. So you need to have call to the slaughter plus any one of these, okay? So rage, raise and pillage, renewal, rotten claws, uh, any one of these is fine, renewal is the best, okay? The reason why uh, you need any of these three is because if you don't get any of these three, um, call to the slaughter will be behind, all right? And if it's behind, uh, you are not going to, uh, you, you need to go one round to take the notes behind, okay? And it's not worth it, right? So this is the minimum uh, call to the slaughter and uh, renewal is the best. Otherwise, just 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 get any of these three, right? Uh, for the start, it's just fine. Uh, it's not going to do much or uh, very significant difference if you have renewal. Okay. And 11 will be quickening convenient for more damage. Um, and your 12th will be medium budget animate guardian equipment. Okay, the ones with Kingmaker and Goofku spell. Right, that will be the better version of your anime guardian. Going to give you much more damage and uh, much more sustainability for your anime guardian. Okay, and after this, right, the last one uh, would be convoking one with plus two to skill gem. So when you reach... Uh, number 12 right literally your low budget version is done right so kiosk recipe on from number one onwards all the way to 12 and once you're done with 12 just stop your kiosk recipe and start farming like a normal person okay so 13 convoking one with plus two to skill gem this is how roughly it should look, look like okay so this is going to be expensive right but this uh, this one is going to bring you all the way until end game like even on the very 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 high budget build this is going to bring you all the way there so some of you might be asking me how do you actually craft this one right i'm going to show it to you now a quick one um this is a emulator from cloud exile and i already have the convoking one i'm not sure why is there no picture but whatever so you're going to take fossil crafting and you're going to need these four fossils one corroded jagged metallic and shuddering so why these four forces we only want to have the no um fossil modification as you can see below there is no elemental fire cold and lightning for jagger is no chaos no physical and shuddering is no mana this blocks off lots of uh, modifiers on the pool right it blocks off a lot so according to gazi tv this is like one out of 12 that you're gonna hit the both plus one modifiers okay so i'm just gonna do a quick one here so row once row twice three four okay you can see there is a plus one here right so it's quite easy to hit but we want to hit both see this is the minion the previous one was spell okay so here we have it already look we have it already so here is the problem so because um the changes to harvest we cannot just um simply remove the suffix this is um this is a gamble over here right you need to use the op of annulment on it and pray that it removes a suffix see okay so now example if you remove a suffix what you're gonna do is you need to bench craft prefix cannot be changed right and once you've done that you're gonna op of scour okay once you op of scour you are going to bench craft the next thing which is can have up to three crafted modifiers 
and then minions have increased attack speed and cast speed gonna craft the highest tier and you're going to craft trigger socket spells when you use a skill this is what your wand looks like of course i know the the increased spell damage is trash but um you can temporarily use this first if you manage to craft it because the orb of announcement uh i will say it's a 50 50 thing to get but you know sometimes we can be really unlucky and i've encountered that like four times in a row where i remove one of these mods like what are the odds man four times in a row okay so sometimes we can be really unlucky and you can just use this temporary otherwise the most ideal one will be like i shown over here one with minion damage and the plus one plus one to skill gems uh, for spell and minion and then you have this this is the most ideal convoking one you can have after that okay and that's it for the short little guide on the skeleton mages then again i want to strongly emphasize you do not need to literally copy it uh you can use it as a reference and change around here and there according to your preference okay and yes do remember to look at the um google buy list for um easier buying when you are like starting it and yes enjoy enjoy siege of the atlas i'll see you guys tomorrow Okay, if there's anything you'd like to comment, feel free to write in the comment section below or you can also hop over to my Discord channel hideout and let me know. It's basically a chat channel for casual players to mingle around or ask any questions. Okay guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!